Hey guys, my name is Evan Salon and I'm the programmer at Lux Victus. And my name is Antjörn Christiansen and I'm the graphical designer. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, we haven't made a video in a while and we're sorry about that. But we have actually made a bit of progress on the game. And by a bit, I mean a shit ton. Though we had a few months uh, where we didn't do anything because of yeah, school much and uh, yeah, that stuff. Yeah, a lot of schoolwork. And he also moved away for uh, a bit, so it kind of was... Uh, we lost touch or the like lost contact. The internal communication... <coughs> communication. The internal communication uh, wasn't that good in Lux Victus. Uh, but we are now fixed it up and... You're ready to show you, show you what we have worked on. Yeah, we have made a lot of progress, as I said. And uh, in the uh, main screen here, or like the menu, you can see, first of all, there's actually a menu. I don't think that was in the last thing. Uh, uh, and uh, you can see, for, for instance... Oh, um, wait. Uh, yeah, first of all, he redesigned the analog stick. Yeah, so it's like a joystick with uh, rubber around it. And... Yeah, yeah, the buttons is still the same as last time. They have a uh, bit of shadow and it looks yeah. a bit more... They pop out a bit more, but yeah. Uh, these will be removed from the PC version, though. Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the main menu is... Has, has three buttons at the moment, but only one work. And that's the new game one. And there's also a options menu up here. Which you can change uh, the... Music level. Yeah, so there's a music background music sound now, which you can um, adjust the audio level of as we please. And and uh, sound effects. Yeah, and the sound effects we can adjust as we want as well. So let's just start up the game. So first off, you'll see a lot of different stuff. Um, you can't see it too well, but down here there's a bush right behind the player. Which um, is newly added and should be redesigned a bit. And you can see the slime. Uh, yeah, there's change. There's a new sprite for the slime. The new, uh, main character, uh, of course, Baldo and uh, Bob and stuff is still the same. Yeah, that's the two main enemies. And you can see we have added in, added in a new store, uh, which is actually a house now with yeah. windows and that stuff. Oh, and there's new graphics for stuff like the... Um, background. Yeah, the background also, but I was gonna say the... Um, yeah. Quick tip. Quick tip, uh, which tells you how you're gonna go through the dif different levels. Yeah. And the background is, well, actually completely, completely redesigned. Yeah, we redesigned it today, or he did rather. And we added a second layer, yeah, which, is, which is the mountains. The mountains bander, uh, and they move... Uh, at different paces. Yes. Now, if you try to open the shop, you'll get this, which will be an actual shop interface. But we haven't gotten around to make it yet. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this level. Oh, uh, I could show that as well. Uh, if you uh, stand still with the slime, you have this animation. If you jump, the animation will slightly change. And if you walk to uh, the walk to any side, it will also have a different animation. And by the way, we have changed the coins, and they also rotate. Yeah, the coins have gotten a graphical rework, so there's a lot of graphical reworks, and uh, the collision systems and stuff have been redesigned. Last time we showed off uh, this game, we had this very bad menu with really flat design. Yeah, that's something that's new. Uh, it kind of looks like Windows 8. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, the background. Everything in this actually is new. And the medals actually work as intended now. So, the first one is for how many coins you collected. The second one is for health. And the uh, third one is for overall, like, what you did in this level. So, that can only be gold if these two are golds. And you have level time and total time. Yeah. So... Yeah, when you... Um, I'll just progress through, because most of this is the same as last time. As you can see, like, the graphics looks a lot better. And also, you used to be stuck if you walk down here. Now you don't get stuck. <laughs> yeah, because I reworked all the collision. Uh, I also reworked how you move... You used to, like, if you let go of any direction, directional key after jumping, you would just fall straight down. Now you kind of... It kind of takes a bit of breakdown. Or until you start falling down. Um, 
So yeah, everything here is the same. The well, there's sound effects for dying. Yeah, yeah, I haven't actually meant mentioned the sound effects, but we have sound effects for jumping, kind pickups, and, and dying. And dying, yes. Basically. The only original one, or like that's fully ours, is the coin pickup. Though the other ones is made by me to as placeholders. Um, yeah. So there's only really one more thing that we can show off at the moment, and that's uh, over here. Also, the music and sound effects. God damn. Uh, the music and sound effects are made by. Uh, Martin, our like audio guy, he makes all the audio in the game, and it's awesome. He has done a great job with bringing the game to life. So you kind of like a new game now, since last time. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's been reworked and made better. So yeah, this is the last thing I want to show, and this is a very much work in progress. Uh, it's a windscreen which tells you how much time you used for the entire game. We, have, we, have, we haven't gotten around to a uh, design on it yet. There's no design and the functionality is bad. We just pause the game and tell you the time which eventually is gonna bring you back to the menu after you finish the game after telling you the time and stuff. So yeah. I don't think it's any more to tell actually. No that's pretty much it so uh, a lot of stuff changed, a lot of, um, you couldn't see it, but a lot of codes changed to get better, and the graphics are obviously a lot better. But we have a problem, for instance, with the iPad version that you can only play one soundtrack, so the whole game crashes because we have a bunch of different soundtracks. Yeah, that's a problem we'll have to resolve, so yeah. at the moment only the PC version works. Apple did a really bad decision. Yeah, at least for our part, but we'll rework stuff and make it work for iPad, obviously. Uh, and I have tried it on Windows 8 tablets, well, hybrid, it works uh, great if you don't play it in IE, which doesn't work, because it's IE. IE. Uh, and Android, um, well, the last time I tried it on Android was my phone, and that worked just fine. But yeah, anyways, we're rambling on. Um, we should end now, because there's nothing really more to talk about. But if you want to see more, then remember to subscribe and like the video if you liked it, and leave a comment. And uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and for instance, check our website. Yeah. Also, if you want to come with suggestions, we're open to them, and if you want to play the game, then you will have to wait, or you'll have to beg in the comments, and maybe it will be nice. Send us, send us a mail or something. All the information is in the description below, um, so uh, go ahead and check it out. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll be back very soon.